oh, underneath, yeah. like you can see it on top, and then the French braid is like over. Oh, French trees. No, a Dutch braid is on top. That's what I said. I mean, like a French braid. Beauty is like on me. Yeah, beauty is fine. You get that from me. And so I put them in alphabetical order. I'm gonna like this video. Cherries, peach. I don't know. Dutch braid is better. Okay, the only thing I'm going to Yep, now it's getting on. Now it's getting on. You look like Ivar from Vikings. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you always have to say you know. Then twist them. Ah. Ah. Maybe here's it from you, though, too. That's all right. Oh, it's. Well, it is. Now we need to watch it so much more bad. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm on my way down to pick up Trevor. And sorry that I didn't put up a video yesterday. Um, really wasn't much to be seen. We pretty much, I did laundry and we watched movies yesterday, so that's that. I am, however, fixing to start my other little challenge. I gotta find a plunger for the juicer. I'm gonna go on like a. I'm gonna start with a 10 day juice fast. And then if I still feel okay at the end of that, I'm gonna extend it out to 20, 30. And anyway, maybe I can make it to a 60 day juice fast. I watched a documentary about a guy that did it called uh, Fat Sick and Nearly Dead. So I really wanna try it. I've also been watching Forks Over Knives and I think I'm gonna switch over to a mostly vegetarian diet. See if I can't get this weight off. So. That's going to be interesting, plus doing my DDPY as usual. But I think the DDPY will actually get easier as I lose weight because, man, when you're 350 pounds, that is one hell of a push-up. And that, that's a lot of weight to be pushing up. And doing some of the yoga poses, I used to be able to do them when I was lighter, but now it's, woo, <laughs> it's rough. So anyway, I'm going to try to drop some major weight pretty quickly and then keep it off so crush your fingers wish me luck and we'll talk to you hello everybody and how you doing this afternoon it's around five ish I got Trevor Isaac and John John's heading home right now he came out and helped us burn some brush last night and I think they played some basketball outside then play some basketball on the Xbox and now uh, He's got a home, go home to, what are you going home for? I don't know, to help my grandma? To help his grandma, he says, with a little bit of uncertainty. Okay guys, this, stop. Hey, I'm just kidding, my own saw this for me to lick. Um, so this is how I make my guacamole the best out of anybody else's. And we got us a king snake down here. Still alive, surprisingly. Yeah, it's sort of alive. If it was alive, alive, it'd be in the grass, but. If it was alive, yep. it'd be over. Oh, we'll leave him alone. Hopefully, he'll move on about his business. Yep. Just did a U-turn, so let's play hopscotch with them. Keep going. Guys, that's awful strange. Yeah, they don't know where they're going. Maybe they come back again. Just let you know, this is the same ambulance. There it is. You're going faster this time. It does not know where it's going. Stay on it. Good knucklehead has to pull out in front of me so we can't see very well. Yeah, don't you turn. Tell me, tell me it ain't so. A 
Okay, they're going down Summer City Road. I thought they were going to turn around again. <laughs> then I was going to have to turn around again. that bird guys see it up there Do not know birds blink. Okay, so let's see if we can get a closer view without it attacking us. down to his little hanging voice. I don't know what kind of bird it is. Guys, tell me if you see anything up there, okay? So, everybody, a little bit of truth. Is there any babies up there? Is there anything up there, guys? Can't see. Hey, hey, tell me if there's something up there, okay? Alright, well day one of Veggie TJ down the drain, uh, I've got my cup here, I don't know if I can, you can kind of see the remnants there on the inside, mm. that's my mean green right there, it's got a uh, spinach, lemon, one green apple, celery, and a tomato in it so it's it's good though i mean i i'm shocked how good it is but oh maybe i'll show you guys how i make it tomorrow but not tonight we're gonna wrap this video up uh hang on just a second isaac come here we got isaac right here mr amazonian bush craft or -er. crack at whip 
Oh, come on. Crack the whip. There it went. We got a little closer. Let's see what's made out of. Oh, it's the camera's right there. Look at that. It's like out of what? What kind of root is that, Isaac? Uh. Don't get my cup dirty. I was at these strands up here. It has a whip. Wood. And I made it out of the roots. Like the. Are they cedar roots? Yeah, cedar roots. Okay. Well, so Bushwhack and Bushcraft and Isaac there. He's been out in the woods most of the day. He came in for dinner and he got the grocery store. But other than that. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.